Right, this is the uh, starboard. This is the portion that goes between the uh, x-ray table and the uh, mattress on top of the x-ray table. It, the important point here is that the, this portion of the starboard needs to be aligned with the patient's shoulder. We slide this between the x-ray table and the mattress, aligned with the uh, patient's shoulder, and the patient acts to hold this firmly in position. Uh, she now positions her hand into the arm support segment and grabs hold of the handle. You can see here that this can be adjusted to uh, obtain a, a comfortable position for the, for the patient. Once the forearms are in position, the hands can be rotated externally and the wrist extended. What this does is provide an optimal access position for a puncture of the uh, radial artery. The hands held in a, a, a fixed position uh, with good alignment for operator access of the radial artery. Okay, once the uh, radial sheath is in position, uh, the hyperextension is taken off the wrist, uh, the forearm is medially rotated, and the forearm support is moved against the patient's side. This provides a comfortable position for the patient uh, during the uh, angiography and percutaneous coronary intervention procedure. Okay, for left-sided uh, access procedures, it is very important that the point of the starboard is inserted aligned with the patient's left shoulder. So this is slid between the x-ray tabletop and the mattress. Uh, the forearm support can be adjusted, the patient's hand positioned in a comfortable position and uh, adjusted for radial artery access. As on the right side, the hand can be laterally rotated and the wrist extended to provide an optimal radial artery access position. Okay, once radial artery access has been obtained, the extension is taken off the wrist, the hand portion rotated medially, and the patient's hand removed along with the covering drape. It is then positioned across the lower abdomen, the uh, starboard arm support pushed against the patient's side and extended to the fully caudal position. The uh, left arm support, which you can see here, has a, an adjustable knob. This knob allows rotation, adjustment of height, and adjustment of angle. It clicks into position in the arm portion of the starboard. Once in position, it can be adjusted to provide support. An important feature is that this upper arm should be held as high as comfortably possible. Once in position, the knob is tightened to lock. This support stops the forearm falling back to the patient's side and provides an ideal uh, position for the operator to be accessing uh, the radial artery without having to bend forward over the patient during the procedure. This portion 
is easy to insert uh, into the arm of the starboard. It flips in as, as such. It's also very easy to remove, squeeze together at the bottom, slid up, pulled out. Right, once radial artery access has been obtained, extension is taken off the wrist, the hand portion is rotated medially, and the patient's hand and forearm taken out of the starboard handle and advanced and positioned across the patient's lower abdomen. The starboard is then pushed against the patient's side and the arm support portion uh, clips into the arm of the starboard. then adjusted and positioned against the upper arm. Once a satisfactory position is obtained, it can be locked tight. Uh, this stops the forearm and upper arm coming back during the procedure. If desired, another drape can be placed across uh, the sterile field.